Your group fights the terror groups through the system, legally through the system. There's going to be, I don't know, 2,000 angry Arabs marching here claiming that Israel is, is delegitimate, is not legitimate, they call it a criminal state. Isn't that slander in some way? Can, can they, uh, to what extent are they allowed to, to, to uh, tell lies? Well, we are in the middle of Washington, D.C., uh, the capital of the uh, United States. It has uh, freedom of speech, uh, which is toughly protected. So everybody can say whatever they want. The Arabs, 2,000 of them, 20,000 of them, or the entire Arab world can come and insist that Israel is a delusional state, that the uh, IDF is killing babies, that the Jews have no right to a state, uh, and they will be protected. So unfortunately, or fortunately, we are in an open country, on a free country. Everybody can express their opinion. This is why we are organizing this APEC convention to come and uh, academically uh, based on facts, say the true story of the uh, creation of the state of Israel and whether the uh, claim of the Arabs is correct or not. Not by vocal uh, demonstrations, not by violence, but with true discussion, academic discussion. Um, we do it every year and I encourage the Arabs to do the same, to have a convention of them on and uh, discuss these facts. Our organization will continue protecting the rights of the Jews to live safely in the state of Israel and will take any legal step to ensure that that would be it.